remember the first time we came here? We even brought offerings and everything. And when we told her that Rex Lapis had been assassinated, she immediately threatened to squash Liu at Harbor. Paimon thought she'd be impossible to get along with. But now that we've spent some more time together, she's really not like that at all. We probably don't need to bring any offerings now that we've gotten to know her pretty well, right? Hmm. Still, Paimon's got some snacks around here somewhere, so if she really wants something, we can just use that. Huh? Traveler, did something catch your eye? Whoa. What a pretty lady. Is she also here to visit Cloud Retainer? Yeah, you're right. All it takes is one look and you can tell she's someone special. As expected of that bird lady, really. She must have a whole bunch of Adepti friends from all over the country. Okay, but if we're both friends of Cloud Retainer, then we're basically friends by association, right? Want to go up to her and say hello? Helping you make more connections is a part of Paimon's job as your reliable guide. Paimon's got this. <laughs> um, hello! Mm. of Cloud Retainer. May we have the pleasure of learning your name, Madam Adeptus? You two... <sighs> what is this tomfoolery? Has a shift in form so clouded your eyes that you no longer recognize one anymore? Wait. You're... Huh? You're the Illuminated Bird? How did that happen? Oh, donning human form is scarcely any test of one's abilities. As for your confusion, one merely had no reason to indulge such inclinations before. So, uh, you're indulging now because? Well, one has made plans to pay a visit to some disciples at Liyue Harbor. Taking on a human form for such a trip is simply a way to make matters less conspicuous. You? Worrying about keeping a low profile? You're the one who likes to pop up out of nowhere all over the place! In fact, Paimon can think of several examples, like that time when you suddenly appeared on top of a roof without any warning, or... Ahem. <clears throat> Didn't we agree not to bring that up unless she asked? Oh, so you have taken care to follow the proper rules of etiquette after all. Most commendable. Um, well, this is all Paimon's got. You don't mind, right? One has never found oneself lacking in basic comforts. On the contrary, it is the gesture that one values above all else. So long as you've shown proper respect and consideration, the quantity or quality of the gift is but a trivial matter. <sighs> that kinda makes Paimon feel a little guilty for trying to keep them for herself. Anyway, where were we before you reminded Paimon about the gifts? So by disciples, you must mean Ganyu and Shenha. It's also been a while since we last saw them. Maybe we can come too. One plan to extend the invitation even if you had not raised the matter yourself. Shenha and Ganyu should be quite pleased to see you again. However, one would first inquire as to the reason behind your visit here. You have cause to seek one's company? Yeah, we just found ourselves missing you and wanted to see how you were doing. 
We were hoping you'd tell us one of your stories. Who knew we'd run into your human form while we were at it? Hmm. Is that so? If there are no urgent matters at hand, then let us make haste for Liyue Harbor. Ganyu is likely still working at Yue High Pavilion, so that shall be our first stop. Sounds great! Then let's all go to Liyue Harbor! <sighs> Ganyu has been quite busy with work as of late. One can count on one talon the number of times she returns to Mount Outsong each year. Shenhe has also secured employment recently. In her correspondence with me, she wrote that she shall have no need to return for the foreseeable future. <laughs> Do they think one was so easily mollified? One shall investigate everything with one's own eyes and decide for oneself if their living conditions are satisfactory. <laughs> <laughs> 